there's a bit of burbler from down there and believe it or not I'm standing in front of um, Steam World in Westbury and it's Steam Up Day so this is uh, their annual Steam Up event let's go see what they've got on offer this year Every year at the end of the year on the long weekend Pern Steam World puts on a Steam Up Day and this year they featured tractors many of whom were very old they also have their obligatory steam rollers, diesel rollers, and of course, traction engines. This old roller, for example, is a, a very well restored one, but it's a diesel. Then we have the traction engines, and they are quite magnificent, but, well, look at these tractors. What an amazing array of old tractors, many of which are diesel engine tractors started by actually igniting a, uh, a fire at the front of them. This uh, pre predates the glow plug. Inside we have various displays, including the oldest traction engine that was self-powered in Tasmania, and some implement displays. And of course, we have a working traction engine that they're powering a threshing machine. Which, uh, it's quite magnificent. It's fully restored. They have motorcycles. They have various traction engines which are going to undergo restoration at some point. And of course, uh, you know, at the very back, they have a lot of machinery, some of which is restored, some of which is to be restored. And outside, we have things like this old log splitter. And of course, the uh, miniature traction engine, which is a great engine with the kids as he uh, trundles around the place. That one was built in the late 90s and uh, has operated flawlessly ever since. It's a magnificent example of a miniaturized traction engine. Also outside are the wonderful standing engine displays, some of which you can see here. And then we have the blacksmith shop. This runs a beautifully, uh, beautifully restored example of an old forge, similar to what you'd find uh, when they were building the Sydney Harbour Bridge. This one uh, is hand cranked and it is quite magnificent. And they make a lot of equipment there that actually can be used like these here for various things. Many of the tools that are used are actually manufactured on site by the blacksmith. They also have various tracked vehicles, a lot of standing engines in another shed, and this wonderful little fully working steam locomotive that runs around the site. And what a magnificent site it is. This one is always a big hit with the kids because you can ride on the little tracks around the, uh, the whole complex drawn by a small scale model steam engine. Steampunk also features here and of course, well, then there's the tractors and if you have a look at the front, there's a little bulge on this one and you'll actually uh, probably wonder what the Lands tractor was all about. Well, that's how you start one. This predates the glow plug and what you see on the left is the steering column. They pull it out and use it to start the flywheel, which in turn fires up the tractor. So of course we have these scale model vehicles including this miniaturized tractor wow. now this is quite an impressive little thing as is this wonderful vehicle using an engine that was designed and built by an Australian engineer looking further around the complex you can see all of the wonderful things all restored or semi-restored machinery it really is a great day out, so for anyone to uh, to go and see this, it is magnificent. Well, as you can tell by the thumping of the old diesels in the background, what a fun day can be had by all. We'll look forward to seeing you next time somewhere out there in what we like to call the two-hour circle. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you'd like.